But tell me more about what's happening and how this came to be. So what is happening is that there's a whole lot of violence that is happening against women. And most of it is uh, mainly gender-based violence, whether it's rape, it's violent abduction, it's abuse, all forms. But this month of August, things seem to be getting even far more worse. And so there has been a huge uproar that has been taking place in and around uh, the South African community. And it got to a stage where in men are deciding to take a stand and step up. And and then part of that was that where else do we direct men to go to? So the question was, where are the macho men? They need to stand up and take a stand. And coming from that then, then we spoke with friends and an idea came that let's do something. And on Monday then, which is the 9th of September, at 9 o'clock, we're saying men need to stand just for nine minutes. And hence that hashtag 999 for nine. How has the response been since you started putting this out in the world so so we started really going about it today where in there's been massive um communication we've had quite a number of radio interviews for different radio stations that have taken this up but the first one yesterday had one today, there's uh, two happening tomorrow, and there's another one on Monday. And then it's all about us raising the awareness, and then the use of social media as well, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, and those other platforms that we're encouraging men to share with their networks, including WhatsApp, where possible. So there's a broader use of, of, of networks to promote this and the uptake is getting bigger and bigger every day. That's beautiful. And uh, from this small, uh, from this single idea, um, as soon as I read about it, I, I thought to myself, I, I want to do this. I'm not in South uh, Africa. I'm in the United States. Uh, yeah. um, have you heard from others who are saying, Yes, I want. We want to participate. We want to stand up with you. Not yet. There hasn't been other communities that have put their hand up, and and I think it's wonderful that we're getting the support from the U.S. Um, around this project was again. You would remember, not so long ago, these accusations were coming up against even well-known celebrities, and and women taking a stand that. I have been abused. So this is not only a South African problem, it's an international social problem that needs to be dealt with. And the duty is upon us as men um, that are mature enough to say, I know who I am and I'm ready to take a step. That's excellent. Kola Kila Dlakia. And how long have you been connected to the Mankind Project in South Africa? It, it's 10 years, uh, and I'm a co-leader. You're a co-leader in South Africa. Um, how much excitement is there within the Mankind Project community in South Africa about this effort that you're helping to lead? It's, it's quite an active community, um, diverse enough, and with diversity showing up one way that mm-hmm. men step up. So there's a lot of excitement around making MKP South Africa a safe refuge for men to go find themselves and show up in the community. So, so, so that showing up makes people stand up and listen and see the organization. And then and, and from that, then the mission of changing the world one minute at a time starts being realized because then more men want to know who these men are and how can we be part of them? Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I am going to, I will spread the word about this, and I want 
if if you could uh, take my deep gratitude and many other men in the Mankind Project USA who will be seeing this. Um, mm. thank, you. thank you for being those men. Thank you for standing up. And uh, may it be that what you are creating in South Africa creates the safety and creates the equitable community between men and women that I so deeply desire. Yeah, through that, I think it, it, it starts by one step and that step will lead to the next step that would help us to get there. At least the women within and the women for Africa are also doing their piece. So we've got a community of men and women already that are conscious, but we need to move it and make it even more bigger. And and through this, so we thank you for also just reaching out to us and say, what can we do from this side of the world? Because ultimately, it is a societal problem across the globe that we face. Yes. So here's to the men that are standing up to end gender-based violence in their communities. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kola Kile. I will be talking to you again, and thank you for taking a quick minute to talk to me today. Lovely, wonderful, and have yourself a good day. Peace, brother. Take care.